everyone, today I'll be reviewing this new show just dropped on Netflix. It's called Who Killed Sarah? And this show is basically kind of like a murder mystery trailer show. And it is a Mexican made show and it is dubbed in English. And, and the dubbing was pretty good for this show. And this show starts with character named Alex. He just gets out of jail after like uh, sentencing for uh, 18 years in a jail for murder for his sister uh this show the show did started with this tragic story uh alex and she said he trying to solve this murder for his sister which he didn't commit of course he didn't commit that crime he's trying to solve his uh, sister's murder might have been committed by her boyfriend uh and might be her uh, boyfriend family is involved so you have to see the show to find out who killed sarah <laughs> So this show, I must say, uh, when it started, uh, like at first, I felt so sorry for this Alex character, especially when you see the show, the way they like uh, sent him to jail, it's really tragic. And what happened to his family is also very tragic. So immediately I got into this show because of this character, Alex. Uh, of course, you uh, start the show with him, then you find more about everybody else in the show. Uh, so what I like about this show is this Alex character, also, I really like production design, set pieces, uh, especially the CD. It looked really beautiful. And it, I felt like I was somewhere else watching this show. So I really like that. So what I did not like in this show is, so this show is kind of a uh, soap opera type. Uh, like this show has a lot of twists and turn, uh, like tons. <laughs> Some of them you see it coming, some you don't. Uh, but often this show, although this show is very well done, I must say, it's not a boring watch. It's pretty engaging throughout the show. But I did not like the way they put all the sound in the show. It felt too soap opera. And I was like, ah, what is happening? The sound and the music choice this for the show. It's really a feel upbeat, especially when I think about the show. Such well done though, from the acting perspective production design direction everything is so good except this music does not work here because like it's a murder mystery uh thriller type you know you are watching like the character giving their thing and they just put this music <laughs> so it was a little bit off-putting for me uh i'm pretty sure not more for most people it will be okay so i really actually enjoyed this show i thought the show was quite engaging especially the center character alex is very interesting he has many skills as you learn more about him and especially Sarah's boyfriend's family. Oh, I forgot his name, Rodriguez or Rod Fellow. Uh, I was reading the <laughs> subtitle. Anyhow, the, uh, Sarah's boyfriend, I will just call Sarah's boyfriend character. I found him interesting and his family, of course, so many things going on with each family member and you learn more about them. Uh, I found their character, all of them very layered, like each of them, you know, there is a one brother, he's gay, but he's uh, like, uh, but this family doesn't want to accept him. They keep telling him like, oh, you are not uh, normal, you don't want, uh, like they don't just accept him. And I found it, wow, uh, even he's having kids and everything, like there's the drama between him and his boyfriend, uh, interesting. <laughs> And there's this little sister who like didn't, uh, she wasn't there when this event took place. So her character is also kind of interesting. Her, she's kind of like a good person in this show. Like she is like, or she's trying to do good, <laughs> should I say. Uh, so what I didn't like about the character, I will tell you guys in the spoiler section. I don't want to give you a spoiler right now. Uh, so overall, all the character, even mom character has so much layer. Overall, all this character, they do have a layer. Like, And each episode, they peel all the layer off and you learn more about them. And the mom character is also very complex character like Sarah's boyfriend mom she's very complex of course you learn more about her uh even the, even the dad character is also complex all of them uh and so many women gets pregnant in the show i was the end of the show i was like it, it felt really ridiculous <laughs> still i enjoyed the show uh like i was like really counting how many women are getting pregnant <laughs> after one point i forgot uh, like how many <laughs> overall uh, the dead character however he's obviously like uh i just wish his character wasn't so much evil uh in this show 
uh, because often his character is very like uh, like one dimensional character he's like uh, he's like just evil like and he's a businessman he's trying to protect his family but also there is a like bad side of him uh I just wish this show kept him like a dad, you know, trying to protect his name and family. All this character, yeah, I, I like their storyline, they're struggling here. Uh, so I will now go to the word I didn't like about this show. Uh, so it's spoiler if you haven't seen the show. I enjoyed it. <laughs> this show, I had fun watching it. It wasn't a bad time actually, it was fun watching it. Uh, so if you want to see, you could check it out, especially if you like soap opera type show. Uh, so now I'll be telling you guys that's what I didn't like, which is spoiler. Uh, so what I didn't like in this show is how it ended. Because the whole season we are watching this uh, murder mystery for the center character, Sarah. Uh, I guess it's like my personal taste because we all are audience. We are rooting for Sarah like she is like she's the victim here. You know, she is uh, she's from poor family. She meets this rich boy and uh, but I feel like toward the end, this show turned her into like kind of like she might be bad or uh, especially the way it ended. She and and if you have seen season two trailer, they're turning into her a crazy person, which is I don't appreciate because like because I was watching the show to see like her murder get solved. And I, as the audience, you want her to be good. You don't want her to be evil or bad person. Uh, although she was pregnant with someone else's baby. Uh, Still, I feel like the show, I, I, so that's why I'm not going to see season two because the direction is heading. I'm not, uh, like, I cannot accept it that she is a crazy person or she might be crazy. As the, uh, in the trailer say, uh, uh, be careful what you want to find out about her. So I don't like that uh, because, like, I feel like, because as the audience, you want her to be good. You don't want her to turn into an evil personality, especially her personality. I don't want it to turn evil in this show. Uh, and and the murder mystery itself for this show, I think it's, it's predictable. You see who killed her mile away because like either killed that uh, gay brother or the not the sister she was little either the dad or the mom mom had a motive too because mom was also trying to protect her family name or whatever so who kills who killed sarah in the show wasn't that a, like hard mystery to solve i suppose uh, so that part i didn't mind uh, like the especially the mom was the one who killed sarah uh, because she found out about her uh, so I can't blame her either. I, I You see what I'm trying to say here? Like, uh, I don't like that Sarah is a bad person end of this show. That's why I feel like, although I really enjoyed this show, it was fun watching it, uh, especially like I never seen soap opera type show. Uh, but still, I feel like as a season two, it didn't need season two for this show. So that's what I'm like. Mm -hmm not interested anyway that was my thought on this show thank you so much for checking this out let me know in the comment what you thought about this show and if you enjoyed my review don't forget to subscribe and please take care